everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today I am going to be doing a review on the Lee Cranch Creations molds. I have four that I'm going to be working with today, mold A, B, and C, and then I'm also going to be working with this four piece mold and I actually made a little pendant necklace from one. So if this is something that interests you and you want to check out these molds for yourself, then stay tuned. So I've been working with these for a few days now just to get the hang of them and I have been trying a couple colors and seeing what happens. My favorite actually is the just the lack of color and that's the one that I made into a necklace and it looks great on both sides. Look how cool that is. So that one is my favorite so that's why I made it into a necklace and started wearing it of course and then I already did, I already did mold A in just black I wanted to see what that looked like and so and I also wanted to see just the process of unmolding how hard it would be and actually it was really easy so there's a couple of her molds that are a little bit more difficult she says to get out so those I'm gonna do different after I get a chance to actually work with them so I know that I'm walking you all through the proper method of releasing those but for A, B, and C, and then this 4.1, it's easy. You don't need anything extra. You just need your resin and your coloring and you're good to go. So definitely check out below. I'm gonna put her link to her webpage and then I'm also going to put a link to her YouTube. She does YouTube videos on her molds and so that is a very valuable resource for you if you're wondering what molds look like what when they come out and that is such a great resource to have. So don't forget to go show her some artistic love and support by following her page and subscribing to her channel and let's get to it. Okay, so I set these up here. These were what came out. I actually might have these two mixed up here. Something, I don't know. The mold looks so different on top. Um, and so these were, this is what it looks like from the backside. And then when you pull it off, this is what it looks like underneath. So you can see how shiny it is. Look at that. I think it's so pretty. Now, if you want it to look clear then you can put some extra resin on top oh my god please do not judge my nails right now it's been a week <laughs> okay so i set these right on top and this is what like came out i did this is the one that's on my neck um this one is my favorite look at that you can see the gold and the maroon color shining and then this is what it looks like on the back so you can always sand this down and paint a layer of resin if you wanted to, or you could do like gold leafing would be super cool. Um, so that's what happens when you use glitter. If I didn't use glitter, it would have just looked like a normal color, which would look fantastic too. So look at that. I love it. I um, actually did make this one into a necklace as well. That's why there's a little hole up there. Uh, you can't see it. All right, and then this one, Look at that. The sides are shiny on this one too, which I really like. And then from the back, it looks even cooler. So no matter what way you wear this, if you are wearing it as a pendant, it's gonna look really cool. And then the star, I did this with black y'all. And we know how black goes with resin. It doesn't normally turn out very shiny, but look at that. I think it's gorgeous. So I just set them on top. I also did another, this one was my tester piece. Um, and I was working with glitter inside of it, the chunky glitter, and the glitter is heavy, so that's kind of what happens, but look how cool that looks anyways. So, I really like these. They're super simple to use, and when I say that, I literally mean super simple, like stupid simple. <laughs> that's how easy they are. Really, you pour the resin in, and you peel it out 24 hours later, super easy. If you're wanting to make it into a necklace, you are going to want to put the um, little screw part into the resin right after that 24 hours because if you do not, it's going to be a lot harder. Um, I actually worked with the liquid diamonds the first time and then I worked with the 7050, the clear cast 7050. 
and both of them were fantastic. They hardened very quickly. So um, I actually did take them out after 12 hours, but I'm not gonna recommend that unless you know what you're doing with resin. And it was perfectly fine. And then the longer I waited, the harder it got and I couldn't screw it in and it was obnoxious. And so I had to heat the resin just to get the little screw to go in. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. I'm actually going to use the liquid diamonds casting resin again. Y'all like freaking love this resin. I am going to do a separate video on this, but I'm just telling you, I love it. So if you're interested in this, this is going to be in the description below as well um, from the epoxy resin store, but I will do like an actual breakdown of why I love this resin and Oh my gosh, like I freaking love it. So anyways, it is a two to one ratio. So I do have to weigh it and mix it and then I'll be back. A short time later. Can you talk? Hey, oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. So after mixing, this is how many bubbles I have. Not a lot. No, one big bubble right there. <laughs> Look at that. That's freaking amazing. So it's probably the easiest resin I've ever mixed. With that being said, um, I am ready to go ahead and get started. And I have cups for each color. I'm going to do a Halloween inspired color right here. And then my two, um, one of my two, or two of my favorites, <laughs> not one of my two, uh, two of my favorites from Patty's Pigments. They're all Patty's Pigments. They're the non-toxic, non-toxic, oh my gosh, I can't speak today. Non-toxic uh, pigments that I use, which I absolutely love. My favorite color is the pumpkin orange, which is actually like a coral to me, and I love it. So just in case you guys wanted to know. <laughs> I, they do have like a little set thing that you can get that's like abstract boss favorites so you could try them out yourself I love them would totally recommend them um, now the Halloween one I don't really know what I'm gonna use it for I think I might use it in my Oregon pyramid inspired because I'm not actually doing like the copper wire and stuff I'm just kind of doing a cool pyramid I guess so not Oregon uh, whatever <laughs> but yeah this is so nice easiest friggin resin to mix and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour it into the individual cups these i'm going to do half of each because i don't need a full cup of black and orange since they're both going in the same mold and then you want to let it sit a little bit so the bubbles can come up but i always mix and then let it sit a little bit now, if you are going to let resin sit, you always want to make sure you're agitating it. Agitating it means you're mixing it in this big container. Um, you don't want to leave a big container of resin sitting by itself. So, here we go. This is going to be the Crystal Ruby. I'm going to do for an entire um, Geo Diamond thingy. There we go. And this one is the Crystal Violet. Pretty much all the crystal collection that they had was my favorite. They're so pretty. I love deep colors in addition to like teal. Oh, my favorite. Okay, now you do want to make sure that you're mixing this very well. I always add my powder in um, last because you don't want to get chunks of powder that don't mix in. So if you're adding it after you pour the resin in your cup, then you're going to have a better chance of mixing it very well. But if you put the powder in first, then you could possibly get um, parts and areas that you're not scraping well enough and it's just not going to mix fully. So just a little trick of the trade for any of you beginners starting out there. And you wanna keep scraping. See, there was some powder on there that didn't get mixed. Kind of stuck to my popsicle stick and found a pocket, I guess. So mix, 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 mix. Uh, now this one is the silver black. I grabbed the wrong one, so it's kind of more of a gray. So I'm going to add a little bit of my alcohol ink. Okay, I like that one. That's a little bit more gunmetal now. The gunmetal black, or gunmetal gray. Alright, so those will look really cool together. These 
Looks like most of the bubbles have kind of come to the top here, so I'm going to take my popsicle stick out. Leave that right here because I might need it for more mixing if I don't have enough resin. And you want to take the blowtorch and you want to go super fast. Oop, all bubbles gone. Oop. Oh, that one didn't get mixed all the way. Look at that. My bad. That's why we do this. Okay, now I'm going to let that sit again. Notice there's still no more bubbles in this. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this one in here. Oops. Cup is not working for me today. Do our little pinch. Okay, now this has been sitting over in this one, so I'm gonna give that a mix. Get this over here. Now what I'm doing right now is I don't want to pour the entire thing. I've found that with working with any molds, just doing a little bit at a time, so that way you have a chance to see if there are any bubbles. You can work it around into the edges. I find this to be extremely effective. Didn't really learn it from anyone. I just, I don't know, it seemed logical to me. So that's what I've been doing. I know some casting resins like this, you could just pour it in and I mean, there's few to no bubbles, especially if you use a pressure thingy, but I don't have a pressure thingy, mainly because I don't even know the name of it. I just know it's a pressure thingy. <laughs> Okay, this one doesn't even have any more bubbles after mixing. Oh, a couple of micro ones. Let's go now. Sound effects totally necessary, because I love them. All right, this color I want in here. So, and pouring created some bubbles. So there's a little one right in here that I'm gonna stick like, um, actually I don't have a hairpin. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm going to use my child's scissors uh, to poke down in here. Now that's just because there's a tiny little hole in this one that I want to make sure it gets all the way to the corner or to the end and then just wipe it off. Okay, this one's pretty. I love this color. And my black and orange. So actually it looks like all the bubbles came out of this. Just letting it sit, which is nice. Look at that. Okay, and I'm just gonna sort of do some trade pouring here. Do some black. Let's see how this turns out. Ah, oh, it looks like they're combining a lot more than I wanted. That's okay. Ooh, it's still so cool. I'm gonna do more orange in this one. That's neat. I like the brightness contrast. So I try to get it to really bubble up because resin does shrink down. So don't worry about going like right to the top there. That's perfectly normal. Now with this gunmetal one, I'll just go ahead and put that into one of these molds because this will be a pretty color. Now, when I do these molds, definitely let it sit a little bit because there's a couple spots where it's really hard for you to just pour into it. So you wanna get from the bigger sides and let them crawl over, basically. Okay, so with these ones, you don't want it to overflow because it'll be harder to take out of the mold. So I'm just cleaning up my edges with a little Q-tip. Now I haven't priced these yet, but I am going to put them on my Etsy store, which I did just launch. Currently it just has my coasters on there. I need to get my geodes listed. It's been a little hectic with this household, but that is okay. We are going to make this work. So um, if you're interested in any of my coasters or if you'd like to commission me for any, just let me know or any of the geodes as well, those and my animals. Those are all the commissions that I'm currently taking. Anything outside of those, I'm gonna wait until I can kind of price point and know 
um, what to expect on turnaround time because I don't want you guys to go without your beautiful pieces of artwork um, if you're ordering them for holidays or anything like that. So yeah, that's about it. I am really excited. Look how beautiful, beautiful these are gonna be. We'll do a mix of purple and the gunmetal over here. And then I also do have the phone cases and the prints available. So all that info is in the description box. And then I also just launched Teespring. So if you're interested in any abstract boss merch or anything like that, Honestly, just in whatever way you want to support my channel, I'm trying to have an avenue open for you. So if you just want to donate and you don't want to buy anything, that's totally fine. You can donate at my PayPal, um, or if you just want to support by watching my videos a thousand times, that's super awesome too, and I respect that. I totally understand. So thank you so much for your time. All right, I will come back once these are cured and unmold them. One day later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and open these big old jewel molds. Again, I'm just releasing it from all the sides first. You want to make sure you try to loosen it as much as you can. And then look how easy it's coming out. Look at that. And that's with no mold release or anything. So, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's such a satisfying sound. <laughs> oh, look how cool that is. Oh my gosh. This one is so neat. <gasps> this one's probably my favorite now. I didn't use this one yet until now. So you guys are seeing this one for the first time for me with me blah this one too i haven't done before that one's so cool i love it like i like the length on this one but i love the little like texture on that one okay let's see this one and this one i did with the orange and the gunmetal gray i did it in the smallest one because i didn't think i would have enough color i had a little extra color so it worked out Oh, that's cool. Maybe I could put that in my little, I started to do a Halloween triangle. So maybe I'll like put that in there. Oh my gosh, that would be such a cool idea. I need a second one though. Maybe I'll do the purple one over here. Oh, that'd be so cool. Oops. Okay. This is how my ideas are. Super random. All right. Oh my gosh. These are so cool. And I have like the coolest idea to do with these that I can't tell you yet because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a video that I do. So, um, this easy. Look at that. That's the one that I have around my neck. Isn't that pretty? That's freaking gorgeous. I did the star again because I had extra and I did the purple and the gunmetal. Used up the rest of it. And then all of these. They're just so easy. Oops. I'm going to be just throwing stuff around today. Oh my gosh. So I wanted to get all of them out again so you could see them. Here's the stars that I did, which... I do like the solid color a little bit more. I don't like glitter in the stars. Glitter is just too heavy. We found that out with this. Um, I don't know if y'all can see from the camera, but you there's like a clear level. So I guess basically look at this and notice how there's no glitter right there. It's because that whole section is clear and there wasn't enough glitter apparently. And I poured a crap ton of glitter in here. So, um, but the top looks awesome. I might actually just take off this corner edge and flatten it and then that's going to be perfect it's not even going to look like there was any issues that's so cool and so yeah i wouldn't use the glitter in the star one unless it's all glitter and you have a crap ton of it same thing with these um the big glitter just goes to the bottom i used alcohol ink in this one i wanted to see what that would look like to give it kind of a light coloring and i do like it but i don't like 
glitter in it. So that's just a personal preference. I did like the fine glitter in these ones. If you notice, it did sink to the bottom as well. So you have a layer of glitter and then you have a layer of color and then you have that top layer of glitter. So in this, it looks cool, but I wouldn't use the chunky glitter um, for these just because it's going to look like that. Unless you do enough of it, it'll look like that. So I hope that made sense because I feel like I'm <laughs> tongue tied lately. I just don't know what's going on. So I might, um, ooh, that might be just a cool like background for a picture for these with like a gold chain attached to it. Oh, look at that. See? Oh my goodness. So cool. Yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be a nice image. And then I'll put that on my Etsy account that I told you guys about earlier. And then this one, look at that. Ooh, so cool. I love it. Okay, another idea. You can just use the little trinket box, have it leaning up against something, and you can have this stuff like coming out of it raw. Like puking up all the geos, but it looks so cool. Bra! Okay, I'm done playing. <laughs> But seriously, you guys, these molds are so friggin' easy to use. And I am a beginner molder, as you can tell. Um, but I love that these are so easy to use. So, Le Cranch Creations, you're freaking amazing. Denise, I absolutely love these. Um, so, I have got to say, I would totally recommend them. I still haven't done these bigger ones. Um, she said they're a little bit harder to release, so I want to play around with these ones a little bit more. I have two of them, and this is the six-point mold, and this is the eight-point mold. So these two, I will do a review or a video or something. Um, I just want to make sure that everyone understands I have not tried these ones out yet. These ones I have tried, highly recommend, and they're super easy to get out. I also tried this little ball thingy, again, beginner molder, but it was pretty easy to use. It was back when I did these ones. So you could see that layer thing that I'm talking about. I have the gold, then the purple, then the gold, and that's because the glitter is heavier. So especially in this, like I would not use glitter because I think that looks silly. Maybe not though, as a necklace. Look at that, that might be cool as a necklace. Um, the other thing with this one, I want to tell you before you buy it, just so you know, it did have two pockets that caught air. So just make sure that when you use this one, you put um, like anything. You can use the back of a paintbrush or something and just sort of poke your resin around to make sure that it contacts all the little areas in here. And then um, if it goes down, then you know that you were able to fill it a little bit. If it doesn't go down, then you still got to work it around a little bit till that resin goes down. And then you could top it off to fill it up. I hope that made sense too. <laughs> I will try to do like an actual video on, you know, hey, let's work with molds. Once I feel like I'm a lot more knowledgeable, this was more so if this is easy for beginners, because that's exactly what I am. And yes, it really is. These ones are beginner friendly. Um, just know those particular things, do the popsicle stick, or um, you can use, like I said, the back of a paintbrush, just make sure it's a little bit skinnier than this. Um, or a needle, uh, what about a needle? A needle might poke through this silicone. Ooh, maybe like these, these would work perfect. Children's scissors, cause those will go down there and they're not gonna cut. That'll be perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna have to keep these. I was gonna give them back to my son, but now I've used them twice and I feel like I have way more uses for them than he ever does. <laughs> Anyone else have a kid who hates art? Oh my gosh, how is this even possible? Okay, and then I'll also show off these little guys on my TikTok. If you guys wanna go check that out there, it's also Abstract Boss. So, lots of projects coming up. Um, that's about it. If y'all have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. If you enjoy this type of stuff, or if you have any requests of different types of arts or just things that you want me to try, please leave those in the comments as well. I really want to try to do the ideas that you guys have. Um, I've been a little slacking on that lately because I've had a lot of stuff going on, but 
my goal is to really take notes on all of that and to do them because I want to make sure I'm doing projects that you guys love. So please leave those in the comments below or personal message me. Look how freaking beautiful these are though. I really highly recommend them. I would definitely, I'm going to do like a really cool project with them. And then you guys are definitely going to see, but I need like many, many days, probably even weeks because the project that I have in mind is going to take a lot of like these or a lot of these and that will take days process because each one takes a day care. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time. I'm going to be doing a video on how to color glitter. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my videos. Have a great day, everyone.